401k and you just feel like you're at the mercy of the market, you know you wanna produce better returns yet you just don't have the power to do so, I wanna help you with a secret strategy that you can utilize with your 401k to absolutely accelerate financial freedom. My name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design and today's video is secret 401k strategy unlocking financial freedom. All right, guys, I want to start this video out by saying I am not giving you financial advice. It's just things that I have done and others have done that is absolutely legal and doable. It's just that you might not know about it. So I'm going to break that down for you today in this video. So let's jump in. All right. So there's a lot of debate out there whether 401k is a great tool or strategy to help you towards financial freedom or some would say retirement. I don't believe in retirement. I just believe in finding what you love to do in life and actually doing that forever, right? Because you're gonna help other people. This whole world is about helping other people. So if you just stop for you, then it's like, who is all this for? What's life when it's just all about you and not helping other people, right? So when we talk about financial freedom here at Master Life by Design, it's about putting your mask on first. Yes, you go get financially free and then turn around and help some people. Because I'll tell you, if you're financially free and you're on the beaches of Hawaii alone, it's not really fun. Why don't we wanna do it with friends? Let's go out there and help other people do it so we can all hang out together. So anyway, that's just my thought process. But look, most people, when you have a 401k, most people don't even know what they're averaging on a quarterly basis or an annual basis. Why do I know that? Because A, I talk to people and clients and B, I was that person, right? And so. I looked at my 401k when we bought some land at 2.2 acres that we have in our video. You can check that out here. But I looked at our portfolio and for the quarter, the last quarter, we were averaging negative 3.65%. I was losing money. So I was like, all right, maybe that's just a fluke. Let's go to the last year, 2022. Guess what happened? I looked at it. I was losing 17.46%. You can see that picture right here. We were losing 17%. So if I had $100,000 in there or more, but just 100K, for example, and you were losing 17%, that's $17,000 you lost in a year. Now, look, I understand that you didn't really lose it if you don't sell it, I get it, but it could take months, years, or even a decade to get that back. Now, here's what I will say. There's a better way to do that. And again, I'm not giving you financial advice. This is just things that we've done. So I believe if you put it in a self-directed IRA, you now have control over where you invest your 401k. Now, yes, do you have some control, right? Like where you put your mutual funds or your index funds, where you put your money in those? Yes, you can. Now, if you have a custodian, someone overseeing your portfolio, they're usually doing it, but you should have a say in it. Now, you might not be getting great returns. I would invite you to go check out, what are your returns? Because I was checking out a study, check this out. The historical average yearly return in the S&P 500 is 9.66% over the last 20 years as of September 2023. This assumes that dividends are reinvested. Now, let's just say this, dividends aren't always reinvested for people. Sometimes people take those dividends to live off of. They pay the taxes and they get to use extra money for their lifestyle or trips or whatever they want. If it was me, I would just reinvest them. So, you know, like Warren Buffett says, the eighth wonder of the world is compound interest. So I would put that in there. But let's get back. Here's what else it says. Adjusted for inflation, the 20 year average stock market return, including dividends, is 6.915%. Just under 7%. So that's not bad, but I wanna make better returns. And look, if I can make even 3% better over a 20 year period, that compounds a lot faster, right? Now, not everyone mirrors the S&P 500, but most people, they diversify, and I'm gonna make a video on actually why diversification is actually the worst thing you can do in your portfolio. Watch those words, portfolio. I'll talk about that in another video. You guys might throw some hate on that, totally cool. Just different thought processes here. You know, hey, if you're, you're crushing it over me, Awesome, if I'm crushing it over you, maybe you should listen, I don't know. I only listen to some of the greatest people out there with their finances and watch what wealthy people do. Most wealthy people don't have their money in stocks and bonds. Most don't, okay? But 
we'll talk more. Some do, Warren Buffett does, but he has other things too. So we'll talk more. So anyway, you could put it in a self-directed IRA and now you can control where it goes. Now, what I would do is I would take that and put it into a secure real estate investment. The reason why I like the real estate is because it's an asset. You can sell that asset. The market moves on assumptions, right? Predictions, future forecasts. Um, sometimes that's great and we can win big and sometimes it's not great and we lose big, right? And so what I like is to put it in a self-directed IRA and put it into a real estate investment. So there are people out there like myself who are doing deals where we're giving investors 10% or more um, and other people out there have even greater returns that they offer. It just really depends on what you're looking for and what they need. There's you know development deals, all of that out there. However, here's what I will say. You can't invest it in your own real estate deal, okay? So you would have to invest in someone like myself or other people's investments out there. It just can't be for you. I learned this when we bought our land, we were gonna roll our 401k into our land as a down payment but it couldn't be for us. It has to be someone else. So what I would invite you to do is invest that 401k money into a deal where you're getting 10% or greater. Or if you have a deal, one of your friends can invest in your deal. And now you guys can put your 401ks to work and get a greater return. Now, is it always 100% guaranteed? No, most of life is there's zero guarantee, all right? And so, but we wanna mitigate our risk. And I feel like real estate is one of the great ways to mitigate risk. So let's do a quick example before we wrap up here. Say you have $100,000 in your 401k and you did a deal with us and or someone else and they were giving a 10% return. That means you would get $10,000 a year return to you. And if you break it down to a month, it's roughly $833 a month. So let's just say you had a million dollars. All we have to do is just 10X that, which means you would actually get $8,333 a month in positive cash flow. Now, why is that cool? That's cool because you're now getting a 10% return. Remember, the average of the stock market over the last 20 years has only been less than 7%. You're actually beating them by 3% or more with this strategy. Most people don't know that you can do that and it's absolutely fine and it's actually legal and it's more lucrative. You can accelerate financial freedom this way. So if you have a 401k, you can invest in other people's deals. You just gotta do it in a self-directed IRA. Use a custodian, I use equity trust. That's what I have my land in East LA, not out here in Idaho, but in East LA, I have the custodian equity trust. So I have a self-directed IRA there and I have it in land banking. Land banking is a totally different topic. We can talk about that in another video. So look at your 401k. So here's some action steps as we wrap up here. Number one, go see what was your average return this last quarter? What's your annual return this year? What was your average return last year? If you're doing better than 10%, well, let me say this. If you're doing better than 7%, that's pretty good. If you're do for the year, if you're doing better than 10%, then this video probably doesn't apply to you, but you may want to watch it over time, your portfolio over time and see, am I performing at a better than 10% year after year after year? And what's the last 10 years, five years, 10 years, and even 20 years? Uh, what's the average on your portfolio? You want to know these things. Look, you can't manage what you don't measure. So go check that out. So here's what I will say. You can withdraw your 401k. You will pay a hefty penalty, but you could invest it in your deal. I don't recommend that. If you're gonna accelerate financial freedom using your 401k, go put it in someone else's deal that you know you trust and you can see returns. One of the greatest things that we're doing to mitigate the risk for our clients' returns and for, for ourselves is we're doing a strategy where we have multiple rents coming in from one property so that if there's someone that doesn't pay their rent, right? We we have a minimal loss and we actually have a waiting list to be able to insert someone very quickly and we take very little loss. Look, no investment's 100% perfect, but that's our goal. And if you guys have ever had a single family home and you rented it out and the tenant leaves or they don't pay, all of a sudden you're not getting 100% of the rent. We wanna keep it under 5%. That's our whole goal. When we write deals, we do an 8% vacancy 
and we know that it's maybe 5%. So we factor that in with our returns so that our investors are getting their mailbox money and we are making cash flow too. So the goal is to win even in the market that has high interest rates. We're excited about that. There's people out there doing self storage, multifamily development, their Airbnbs, all of it. There's so many different strategies you can invest in. Just make sure you vet the person and make sure you understand what they're doing so that and educate yourself, ask questions because this is your financial future. Don't just take my word for it or someone else's word for it. Educate yourself, ask questions, find out the details. If you're not 100% sure that you know what's going on to get your money back, you're 100% unsure. So don't let that be you. All right, guys, so that's it. That's how you can use your 401k to invest in real estate that has an asset back that you could sell and make your money back if you need to and allow you to get a greater return and accelerate your financial freedom. If you work the numbers out, go put it on a spreadsheet, 6.9% compounded over 20 years, 10% compounded over 20 years, and just use hundred grand just to practice. I know you might have more, you might have a little less, but just use that and see over a 20 year period what that looks like. And I'm telling you, the returns are so much greater. Look, there may be people who've done it differently than me. Totally cool. But this is a strategy of many. Pick yours, run with it. And hopefully we see you on the beaches of Hawaii. So look, with that being said, if you have comments, please comment below. Good comments, bad comments. I don't care. We love the feedback here. Give it a thumbs up. Most importantly, subscribe and hit that notification button. So when we put out videos like this, you are alerted and you know what the next video is and you can dive in and educate yourself on the path to financial freedom. Because I'm telling you, I've helped clients. We have it. We want you to have it and we want to do it as a family, as a community so that we can all go ahead and turn around, pass it along to our children. That's what we're all about and helping you first. So with that, my name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Thanks for watching. Have a great one. See you guys.